looks like I'm through the Phoenix bookstore here. So on today's video, I'm talking about the book, Think Like a Monk by Jay Shetty. And you might think to yourself, why would I even want to think like a monk, right? We don't live in monasteries. We don't, you know, we're not living the monk life. We're living in the modern world. But it is my opinion that thinking like a monk plays in perfectly in today's modern world between our jobs, our relationships, our, our hobbies, trying to stay fit, trying to do startup businesses, trying to do this and that and everything. The world gets a little bit chaotic and sometimes you know, we have all these expectations and we have all these pressures and stresses and all these different things that cause uh, stress in our lives. So why would you want to think like a monk? You would want to think like a monk to train your mind to have purpose, to be peaceful and calm. That's why you would want to think like a monk. It would make you more focused you can concentrate on whatever activities you need to concentrate on. It would just make you a better person altogether. And I believe this book has some great points that will help you out in your life. So without further to do, here we go. But guys, before we continue, please hit that like button. Thank you. I'm going to talk about five main things that I got from this book. Now, this book is incredible. I highly recommend it. Uh, it has way more points than the ones that I'm gonna discuss right now. But this is just my uh, personal quick review here uh, of Think Like a Monk by Jay Shetty. So, number one, monkey mind versus the monk mind. The monkey mind is constantly jumping from one idea to the next. Right? The monkey mind is distracted. It's just jumping around from one thought to the next, back and forth and all around. And the monk mind is focused, it is disciplined, and it is concentrated. The monkey mind is chaotic. The monk mind is calm. And I'm paraphrasing a lot from the book from, uh, I'm paraphrasing Jay Shetty a lot. And some of the stuff I'll say, of course, is my opinion. So what does this mean? Well, this means that our monkey mind is pretty much like our instinctive mind, right? Our survival mind, our animal mind, right? So it's not very uh, focused at all. And it's not very disciplined, you know, you just, you want something and your body wants something and you automatically, the monkey mind just wants it, right? It just wants constantly wanting different things. Uh, you get one thing and then, you know, and you're real happy. And then after a while, um, that, that feeling of happiness goes away and you want something else, you want something more. So the monkey mind versus the monk mind, right? The monkey mind is sort of like an untrained mind. You just, let your mind control you. The monk mind is a more your controlled mind. You're able to control your thoughts. You're able to concentrate better and you're able to be more disciplined. Okay. Number two, gratitude. Through gratitude, we're able to be appreciative of what we have and it brings a nice, calm, peaceful feeling to us. And also it allows us to share the gifts. And again, I'm paraphrasing a little bit from Jay Shetty. It allows us to share our gifts with others and realize the real joy in giving versus always just wanting more and more for ourselves. So by being grateful for the things that we have, we are able to share those things with others and therefore finding true happiness and every day should be should start off with gratitude right you wake up and you should spend a few minutes just being grateful for the things that you have that are spe very specific to you right but 
for sure, you know, we wake up, we have life. So number one, we're already winning, you know, you wake up, you're already winning, I mean, you're alive. But if you have a home, then be grateful for that, right? If you have shelter, if you have food, be grateful for that because some people don't have any of that. A lot of the times we take for granted what we have, we forget to be grateful and appreciative for the things that we have. And we're constantly just wanting other things, right? But uh, by being grateful, it brings a good positive feeling to the start of your day. And when you end your day, you should also end it with gratitude by being grateful for the things that you were able to accomplish that day and for being able to just enjoy that day. Number three, detachment. A lot of the time there's a misconception when we talk about detachment and we believe that that means, you know, not wanting or not enjoying any of the things that we have and kind of just separating ourselves from everything. And that's not necessarily the case. Jay Shetty talks about detachment being more, I'll use a, I'll paraphrase again, uh, some of the stuff that he mentioned. And he spoke about the fact that when we rent a car, we know that we got to turn it in, you know, at, at some point, let's just say it's three days, right? We're enjoying the car for three days. We go for a vacation uh, to the beach or wherever it may be. And you're enjoying that really nice car and you're not constantly just dreading that you're gonna have to turn the car back in at the end of the three days. No, you enjoy the moment, even though you know that you're gonna have to turn it back in and then eventually you turn it back in and you're okay with that. Same thing when you vacation, you're staying at a nice hotel, a nice whatever it may be, and you know that there's gonna be an end to that, right? Eventually you're gonna, you're gonna leave that and go back home. But you're not constantly dreading the fact that, oh man, at the end of the weekend, you know, I'm gonna have to leave. No, you're just enjoying the moment again, even though you know that at some point, you're gonna have to leave that place and go back home. So Jay Shetty does a really good job of explaining how that is the same as us being in this world temporarily right like we're just here so for a little while so we should enjoy the moment versus dreading that uh we're gonna that we're, one day we're gonna die right so it's enjoying every single moment to the fullest versus constantly think you know constantly thinking or fearing death don't get it twisted I don't want to die. I don't think anybody else wants to either, but it's not about wanting to die. It's about not fearing death and it's about enjoying every moment to the fullest and knowing that our body is temporary. Our body will die. However, we will continue being. That brings me to number four, where Jay Shetty talks about not judging the moment. He talks about don't judge the moment, right? Don't judge a moment, meaning, you know, you lose your job and your whole world falls apart in your mind. You're thinking, you're worrying about, oh man, how am I gonna feed my family? How am I gonna feed myself? How am I gonna keep my family safe? If you have a family, if not, maybe you're worried about how you're gonna make your next car payment or your uh, mortgage or rental, whatever it may be you're judging the moment. So Jay Shetty does a really good job at explaining why you shouldn't do that. And how sometimes things happen in our lives that seem like a bad thing, but in reality, uh, it could be good or it could be bad. It could open better opportunities, right? He talks about how sometimes you know, if you think back and maybe you got some job rejections, things like that, and then you ended up getting a better job, or maybe you got turned down with a certain relationship and you ended up with a, in a better relationship or, you know, things of that sort. And that really resonated with me because that actually happened to me in my personal life. I did apply at, at a certain um, major, retail store 
And even though I was told, hey, you know, my friend works there and she's the manager and all this stuff and she's going to hook you up, you know, we're, we're, you know, we're hooked up, like you're going to get this job, don't worry about it, just go apply and you're going to get it. Didn't get that job, then I applied at another uh, major grocery store, I'm not going to mention any names, and the same thing, right, like, oh, you know, uh, we know the general manager and, you know, he's going to, He's gonna hook us up. Don't worry. Just you know, do the application, and you're gonna get hired for sure. And uh, and I didn't get hired either. And it's just funny, right? Because it, at the moment, it's like it's you know, like you don't understand it. Like, what's going on? Why am I not being hired? You know, like what's what's wrong with me? <laughs> right? You start thinking all these things. But just like Jay Shetty mentioned in his book. Uh, it ended up being an, an opportunity really that I didn't get that job. Now there's nothing wrong with, you know, with working at those places, but for myself, it just happened to be that I didn't get hired at any one of those places. And then my future brought a career that I really enjoy. So uh, I just, when I look back now, I see what Jay Shetty's talking about that sometimes Miss, what may seem as a misfortune ends up being an opportunity. It's not always the case, but you shouldn't dread the moment. You shouldn't judge the moment so much. And he gives a great story uh, to explain. But I don't want to give away everything in the book so that you can check it out for yourself. Point number five. I'm not even going to mention the exact terminology that Jay Shetty uses for this technique that monks use that was very interesting and it really resonated with me because I've used it and I'm sure that it would work for you as well and I hope that it does. Anytime that I'm facing something extremely stressful, anytime that you know something's going wrong in my life or anytime that there's a very important decision that I have to make in my life one technique that I use and that I found out not through this book that it's, that it's actually practiced by monks and has been for a very long time is a technique in which in which you fast forward yourself in your mind you fast forward your life to death however it may be right you're dying you're already dying and I'm sure that when we're dying, at least in my mind, this is how I think. I fast forward myself to there, and then I think to myself, how would I feel about this particular decision I'm gonna make, right? What I think, what I, what I think back and I see myself and I think, okay, yeah, like, yes, I would do that. Or what I'd say like, hey man, stop worrying about that. That was so dumb. Why did you worry about that stuff? Why did you spend so much time and energy focusing on something that has, no significance and the only way to really feel this way is by putting yourself in that position because I'm sure that when I'm in that position that's you know I'm gonna think back and I'm gonna I'm gonna have hopefully not too many regrets but you know I'm gonna I'm gonna look back or I think we are you know we're gonna look back at the decisions that we made in our lives and we're gonna judge ourselves and say, oh man, that was really dumb, or that was great. Hey, you know, I did all these great things, or man, I really messed up, and you know, why did I do that? I shouldn't have done that. Uh, regrets, or or we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna feel good about with the, th the things that we did and the stuff that we left behind. So uh, sometimes we think that some of our problems or stresses or decisions we have to make or whatever it may be are huge. But when we compare it to us having to leave this world and everything that we know, of, or at least as we know it, is ending, then that problem is reduced to, you know, it's reduced to something minuscule compared to that and you're able to make better decisions by using this technique. And I actually use this technique quite a bit, even with decisions that don't seem big at the time, right? That seem minuscule, but sometimes minuscule ideas or minuscule decisions end up 
really changing the course of your life. So it just puts things in perspective for me. Uh, so that's a technique that I enjoy using. Hopefully it works for you. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe, hit the notification button. Let me know if there's any other book out there that you would like me to do a review on. If there's something else that y'all want me to, to talk about, let me know in the comments and uh, we'll, we'll be having more videos and, and also another giveaway video. So let me know guys. Thank you very much. Stay safe. Later. By the way, if you're interested in getting Think Like a Monk by Jay Shetty, I'll post a link on the description below. And also you can get it through Libro FM. I'll also post that link down below. So thank you all very much.